You may have noticed that these metal raised beds are beginning to appear in more and more of the gardening videos that you watch. And I think there's some good reasons for that. But it has me wondering. Join me today as I ponder the question, are metal raised beds the future of gardening? Hi, I'm Gardener Scott, and like so many others, I now have metal raised beds of my very own. This is a 17 inch high model. That's a 32 inch high model. And I got these beds from Forever Garden Beds. One of the biggest selling points to these type of raised beds is that they come in a box delivered to your door. This bed right here fit in this box. Now, they're a modular raised bed system, which means you have complete control over the size of the bed that you build. Even though this is being sold as a two foot by eight foot modular design, the instructions actually list nine different variations that you can choose. I was most interested in choosing one of three options. The first being a square raised bed, where I would take the corner pieces and then put two straight pieces between each of the corners to form a square. My second consideration was to make a rectangular bed, where I would use one straight section between the corner pieces and then put three straight pieces on each side, making a rectangle. The one that I ultimately decided on was a long rectangle where I just connected the corner pieces and then put the four straight pieces along each side. And that's what this looks like, a long, narrow, rectangular bed. And so when the box says it's a two foot by eight foot bed, that's the design they're talking about. For this larger, taller bed, I decided to go with the rectangular shape, but the shorter rectangular shape. So you can see the long, narrow bed has the corner pieces connected, and then the four straight side pieces connecting up to the other end. This is the second of the rectangular options with one of the straight pieces on the end between the corners and then three of the straight pieces on each side to the next corners. I can understand that selling point. With my wooden raised beds, I was much more limited with what I could do. The wood comes in a certain size, you decide to cut it to whatever size bed you want, and you're pretty much locked in at that point. Now, I love my raised beds, and I think this four by eight foot size is almost ideal. But the modular system allows you to change your mind right during the middle of your construction. I like this two by eight size, and it does have applications in my garden but I do prefer the four by eight for my vegetable gardening. Well, remember, this is a modular system. So even after building this two by eight, if I realize I want it bigger, I can make it bigger by just getting an extension kit. This kit comes with extra pieces. By putting one of these on each of the sides, I turn it into a rectangle, similar to that one, but it's longer. This will end up being a three and a half by eight foot bed by putting in these extender pieces. That'll make it just about ideal. I built these galvanized steel raised beds to combat the biggest problem with my wooden raised beds, which is decay over time. Those wooden raised beds will end up rotting, they'll break down, and I'll need to replace them. But steel can hold up for a much longer period of time. This galvanized steel is uncoated, and it will degrade over time, over a very long time. But acidic soil in particular 
can actually cause some of the galvanization to begin breaking down. Well, you don't have that problem with the modular systems. This alu zinc coating on these modular systems will last three to seven times longer than wooden or galvanized steel beds, according to the manufacturer. The coating is inside and out, so regardless of the weather on the outside or the moisture on the inside, you can expect these to last a very long time. Longevity becomes a pretty important factor when choosing the type of raised bed that you garden in. I built these wooden raised beds knowing that I would have to replace the wood at some point. But when I built these beds, lumber was relatively inexpensive, so I didn't mind the idea of replacing it. But, of course, as you all know, costs have gone up, and the cost of lumber is substantially more than it was just a few years ago. So the cost to build these beds and then the anticipated replacement cost is higher than it ever has been. I built these galvanized steel raised beds with an eye on longevity. And when I started these beds, the cost of lumber and of this steel was much less than it is now. So a system like this, over time, can be less expensive than the basic wooden beds. But it is going to cost more than it did just a short time ago. And these modular steel beds, well, they are not cheap. This may end up being one of the most substantial investments you make in your garden. But with that eye on longevity, they may end up being the last beds you ever buy. My wooden raised beds and my galvanized steel garden raised beds required some tools, power tools, and a lot of time. Cutting, screwing, drilling. The modular beds really don't have any of that. Everything you need comes in that box. The nuts, the bolts, and the tools to tighten everything. And all you do is just lay the pieces out, put those bolts in place, and then tighten them down. And that simplicity means that just about anybody can build these steel raised beds. It took some time, this being my first one, it was about an hour and a half to construct this two by eight metal raised bed. The larger one had a lot more nuts and bolts, but it only took about two hours to complete. Now they're ready to fill with soil and begin planting. And that highlights a key reason why many gardeners are beginning to turn to raised beds for their vegetable gardening. You can choose the soil that you plant in. Some of us have very poor native soil, so we need to do either a lot of work over a long period of time to amend that soil, or build a raised bed and fill it with good soil so we can start planting right away. Raised beds have many other options. Whether they're made with wood or galvanized steel or a modular alu zinc system, you achieve the same benefits. And I'll link at the end to one of my videos to talk about some of the benefits of raised bed gardening. One of the benefits I talk about in some of my videos is the portability of raised beds, that you can move them if you need to. Well, it doesn't get much more portable than this. You can easily take this apart and move it to another area of your garden, or if you're moving and you need to start a new garden, just take the old bed with you. While the modular raised bed system does have most of the benefits of raised bed gardening, it's not perfect. One of the things I like best about my wooden raised beds is that I can sit on the edge while I work with the plants. That steel isn't strong enough to support somebody sitting on it. And the wood does give you flexibility in the height of the bed. So if you have mobility issues, you can design a bed specifically to the height you need it to be. 
Right now, the steel beds are limited to just a couple different heights. One of the most searched gardening terms on YouTube is raised bed gardening. More and more gardeners are understanding that it can be an advantage if they have a challenge growing in the ground. And so, as more and more gardeners turn to raised beds, they're looking for a system with some flexibility, one that's easy to put together, and in our culture today, one that you can find in a box that's delivered to your front door. The longevity when you compare the systems, well, it's hard to argue with the fact that these will last longer. It's no coincidence that Forever Garden Beds is the name of the company of the beds that I got. And you can choose colors that will even match the color theme within your garden. Many more of us, the video creators making videos, are going to start showing these in our videos because we tend to recognize the trends. We're out in our gardens every day and filming. I think this could potentially be the future of gardening. Not for everybody. There's still a role for growing in the ground and growing in other types of beds and growing in containers and grow bags. But if you're looking for a raised bed system that's going to be easy, simple, colorful, and something that you can do in just a couple hours, well, I think modular raised beds will have a future. I'm Gardener Scott. Enjoy gardening.